From the beginning, audiences have found gospel music a powerful force for helping them deal with our troubled world. The power of the music persists today. People are looking for solutions to that, to, to their problems. And um, we think the solution actually is in the message we have in our songs. So I, I think they come searching for fulfillment of their need, and our songs, we feel, do that. For the new groups and the old pros alike, Southern gospel music is headed in one direction, up. It's more popular right now than it's ever been, but I believe that, that we haven't scratched the, the top of the barrel yet. I believe it's going to be greater and greater. Music has such an incredible aesthetic component to it that is, that is able to reach into the inner parts of a person, that's able to bypass a lot of the barriers that somebody builds up that a lot of times the spoken word cannot penetrate, but music just goes right through it like it's not even there. It captures that soul and captures the emotion, and our music has a very unique quality that, that that allows it to be very poignant in doing that. Gospel music is, first it has a message, and then the way that to see these quartets perform uh, their different parts and to see, hear that lilting rhythm that's there, and it just, it just moves you, you know, and uh, it, it makes you, you can forget about everything and you feel good about uh, what's going on. Forty years after the first National Quartet Convention, Southern Gospel is bigger than ever and surprising even its most ardent proponents. It's bigger than I ever comprehended. Uh, it's come a long way. And I'm just as proud. I, I don't have to fool with it and I still get to enjoy it. It's still my baby. I don't think any of us had any idea that it would be, you know, as big as it is today. I would give all of my time to this industry just to see the Word of God through music reach the people. To me personally, I can leave this convention spiritually uplifted. The words and the music, see that, that does something to people that Country music don't do. It, they can enjoy it for a moment or two, but uh, the spiritual side of it's there to change hearts. got to realize that most of our people in the industry, people like myself, people like Les Beasley, and the fans sitting in the auditorium are here for one reason. They love Southern gospel music. It's, it's more than an entertainment. It's more than, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a way of life. It's something you believe in like the church you attend. You start thinking more about the songs, the words of the song you sing, and it becomes more dear to you to, as the time goes by. Back when you're young, you, you like the music, you like the harmonies, uh, and you're not so much thinking about the message as you, I know in my own case, it's become very, very dear to me.
fighting at the end, why am I fighting? Soon I'll reach my home in heaven by and by. And by and by, when the fifth is all so near me, I have rights, but he'll cheer me. I am riding, 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 riding through the sky. By and by, oh, Lord, in the sky. Soon I'll reach my home in heaven by and by. Running by, running by, riding, riding, riding high. I am running, riding, walking in the sky. By and by, Lord, in the sky. Soon I'll reach my home in heaven by and by. Riding, riding, rocking in the sky.